How's it going everybody, Gold Hat here and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be entry 6 of my Biomutant walkthrough guide. In this entry we are going to be taking care of the main campaign mission and that is going to be called Goop. We are going to be getting everything in the Gum Quack Hollow, all of the items that you can pick up through that. So basically through the whole main mission of Goop I will be picking up all the items that you can possibly get along the way. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So picking up right where we left off, we have just completed our rival tribe and we have cleared out that area. Now we are ready to go back to the main mission and that is going to be Goop. It is going to be located right here. We are going to get some dialogue when we arrive, but this is going to be our opponent's tribal uh, fort. So we're just going to start here and we are going to make our way to Goop. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. This beast can move. That there's Subnautica Station. Goop flounders around in there. Disgusting. Biohazard. Just gross. A moon could make this a hunter's night. Galpo ain't the easiest tongue, but I think he says he's happy to see a friendly face. Not too many of those around these days. Says it's good to see you again. He's goop. You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim. Goop says you were always so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it, even at a distance. Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only together we can remember the story as it was. He knows he's easy to remember. There's no one out there as cuckoo as him. He's one of a kind. Goop says our memory keeps things for us and protects them until we are ready to face them again. He understands you've returned to face Lupa Lupin. 
That's the destiny you've been carrying within yourself all these years. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. Now the time has come for you to remember and act. Your life is your life, not the story you're told about it. He understands why you seek revenge, but he doesn't think you realize how that'll make you feel once you claimed it. See? On my side. Go, Dark, go! First instincts can be truly awful. The fun thing is always the right thing. Next time, look at it with a clear heart. Darkly dark, dark. Says life on the goo is wide open. You have so many choices of where to go. Some harder than others, of course. Which kind do you like? Hit the open surf, then. The trouble is you can only rely on yourself, at least until you reach a new shore and make new friends. Figures the world is a goner. Even the goo will go gone gone. Thanks you for doing everything you could to de-goop the surf. Wonders why you're flapping around with the Jagni. They spend too much time nesting to do anything fun. Figures you must have met different Jagni. But hey, back to the... Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit. So you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the porky. You're lucky that way. There's still cargo left on the shores from before the apocalypse. His best guess is a tower tank. Let's see. Feel that brisk breeze? The underworld is like a whole new frontier. Like walking down a trail.
could be easy to get lost down here. This is harder than it looks. Just a few moves left, make them count. Feeling fierce. Just a few moves left, make them count. Right where it cuts. Those skulls aren't going to crack themselves. <laughs> Seemed like this night might never end.
Well placed. Biohazard makes your skin crawl. Feel that sunshine. Toxanol's offshore drilling caused oily matter to spread with the rain and contaminate both the groundwater and open surf. The long-lasting effect this had on the evolution of wildlife was, as we know now, the only reason we came to exist. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and Activate the framework. He's got the goo glide functional. You'll have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no armor and an engine strong enough to break through the thick goo further out. There's debris floating around on the surf that might be blocking your path or needs to be towed. That means you'll need a device so you can get it out of your way. Goop says Gizmo's devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks, squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. The best way to find quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the surfipelago and knows where the quacks like to float. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink. He'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find quacks. <laughs> How many days like this do you think the world has left?
you're poking around Hockbur, a prime village. This here is the Sinky Dink, home of Gulp, at the very least. Yeah. He's pretty sure he's heard of you before, although the details are maybe a little hazy. He wonders if you have something for him to drink. Says it's both everything you could want and never enough. Says you look like you've got a powerful thirst to do something in this world. Good, bad, not really sure, but it seems like you've been drinking in your destiny and liking the flavor. Wonders if you could take the time to help a man slake his own thirst. You'd be doing him a liquid solid. You're a do-gooder, so you know you want to. Says Thinks it's funny. Can't understand that. Everybody. But who Says The drink helps him forget the state the Take fast over fancy any day. The Quack Hollow, it's just loony. Locked, but good. It's all about destiny. Yours, mine, the entire world's.
No hope of that with as little energy as you have. Choke up that grip! Had better days. Oh, smell that? Biohazard nearby. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. An artist's blade. Looks good. You got your sea legs all ready. Wouldn't want to be behind that.
get off and slow down a bit. Lots of notices on the board for things that made sense in the days when the surf was a lot cleaner. Interesting to see what they cared about here. Wonder if any of... In the old days, this was a port for boats that went under the surf. They helped clog the surf into goo. You should... The end is coming to the world, and everything else. That's enough quacks to sustain the Googlide flipper with infinite ammunition. Goops. After that, Out of Date started using his head instead of his legs and came up with the plan on how to best make a stand against the World Eaters. He seems happy to talk. This is a smoother ride than you'd think. See that broken boat over there? Looks like it still floats. On your own again. Hold 
hold on tight. squint into the oncoming light. It's the porky puff nibbling bark. It took quite a liking to the crunchy stuff after munching down out of Dake's leg. Tow it beneath the puff. There's nothing stopping you now.
Unleash the quacks. You feel it. It's the brisk wind of change. Don't let this opportunity slide.
He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. You're good-hearted enough, so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you. He trusts you know where to find Out of Date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. The shadows are getting shorter by the moment. Goop knows he's repeating himself, but can't help talking to you. Says it's about... Says Ort... So that is going to be wrapping up the Goop mission. Now we can start our out of date campaign mission, which I will be picking up in entry seven. So this is going to be wrapping up entry six. As always, I hope this walkthrough guide has been super helpful. If it has been, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to drop a comment down below, or you can hit me up personally on my Instagram. The link is in the description box, and I'll see you guys next time. Gold Hat signing off.